Hey friends, it's Carrie here with eatingonadime.com and today I have a delicious one pot crock pot recipe for you. It's cheesy chicken and rice and you can get the full recipe in the link in the description. Okay, so let's get going. The first thing we're going to do is start off with some boneless skinless chicken breasts. I've already cut them up into one inch pieces and we're going to throw them in. So when I say crock pot chicken and rice, think of like chicken and rice casserole, but your crock pot does up all the work. You don't have to boil the chicken. You don't have to shred the chicken. You don't have to cook the rice and then combine everything. We're just throwing everything raw in the crock pot and opening it up and saying, oh, it smells so good. Okay. So that's what we're doing today. So now we're going to throw in some seasonings. We need some salt and pepper and minced garlic. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for those of you who are sharing and hearting. You're so sweet. I appreciate you. Let me know where you're from, guys. I like to know where my uh, viewers are from. So we have salt, pepper, and some minced garlic. I'm going to double my minced garlic just because, you know, I love me some garlic. No complaints here. Okay, next we're going to throw in a can of cream of chicken soup. If you do not want the cream of chicken soup, we have an amazing recipe on eatingonadime.com for homemade cream of chicken soup. Just go there. On our website, we have an amazing search feature. If you're not using it, maybe you're missing out um, that you can search all kinds of recipes. But search for cream of chicken soup. Not only do we have a homemade version, we also have a gluten-free version. Um, for those of my, mine that, are, you know, need to not eat gluten, my fans, we're going to call you fans, my fellow cookers. I don't know what to call you guys. Let me know. Cause we call the people in the club, the lazy day cookers. So what are we going to call you guys? My fellow crock pot cookers. So now I'm going to have one and a half cups of brown rice. I'm into rinse this. So let me get out my strainer. Okay, a kid didn't put something where it's supposed to go. That's okay. That's my life. So I'm just going to throw this in a strainer and rinse it off real quick. I like to rinse my rice. I don't know. Do you guys do that? Do you rinse it? I feel like it needs to be done. I don't know if that's just in my head. Now, this is just plain, cheap, bagged, uh... Hey, Dennis from Tulsa. I'm from Oklahoma as well. Just plain, cheap, bag brown rice. We're going to throw that in, scrape it all out. I'm using brown rice because brown rice will um, hold up longer in a crock pot than like white rice, but you could use white rice. It just might get a little softer, but that's completely okay. Now I'm going to spread out the rice into a thin layer. And then I'm going to pour the broth on top. You will need about three cups of broth. So basically double the rice that you're using. You want to make sure the rice is completely covered. So if you don't have any rice covered, just kind of push it down. Put the lid on and we're going to crock, crock this up. No, pump this up. Start this up. I can't talk today. Up to on high because I'm cooking this later in the day. Done. That's how easy it is. Okay, so we're going to talk about the rice real quick. Let me first interrupt and answer some questions. I'm frozen. Wendy, am I still frozen? Can you guys see me? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Can you see me doing a dance? Can you hear me doing a dance? Went out but back in and still frozen. The recipe is not steak bites. Oh, it is on this one. Let me fix something real quick, beautiful people. I need an assistant to the assistant to the assistant. That's a, that's a reference from the office. Okay. Puppies, nobody's here. Let it go. Assistant to the assistant regional manor, manager. Isn't that from the office, guys? Okay. Okay. 
For those of you who are um, getting the wrong recipe, I fixed that. I apologize for that. So I'm sorry. Okay, I just want to make sure that that's working. Okay. How many hours are you cooking on high? You're going to cook this on high for, hold on, let me read my recipe so I can make sure I tell you the one, about four hours. I definitely recommend four hours on high if you're using brown rice. If you're using white rice, you probably don't need to cook it as long, um, maybe closer to the three, but four to four and a half hours. The trick to getting rice to cook really well in your crock pot is to make sure the rice is completely covered and make sure you have enough broth or water so it can absorb as it's cooking. If you do not do that, this recipe will fail. So brown rice, I like to do that just because it holds up better in the crock pot, but nobody's going to be mad at you for using white rice, okay? Second option is you can do instant rice. I love instant rice around here. It's just so easy. Um, what I would recommend is you do not throw the rice in at the beginning for instant rice. So instant white rice and instant brown rice. I mean, I have more experience with instant white rice. So like minute rice, what I would do is I like to throw my minute rice, keep the broth the same, still do the one and a half cups of rice, <coughs> excuse me, but you're going to throw it in in about the last hour, 30 minutes to an hour. Put the lid on, do not open your lid and let it do its thing and it on high and it will be cooked. And all you have to do is fluff it when it's ready to go. This recipe is simple, it's super delicious. Oh, I forgot to add. And the last thing we're gonna do before we serve it is we shred some cheddar cheese and mix it in right before we serve in it for a cheesy chicken and rice. Yum. Cheesy chicken and rice all in the crock pot that you can just walk away from. Can you cook this on low? Yes, you can. You're going to want to cook it at least six hours on low, probably closer to seven hours with the brown rice in it. Um, Lynn, I'm not sure what you're talking about, about the Croctober recipes are free from, okay, so yesterday was steak bites. For those of you asking, I did the steak bites yesterday. Today, I'm doing the chicken and the rice. Now, technically, I flip-flop those for those of you confused in the email. And I apologize. I'm human. Kind of. Sort of. Right? Now, tomorrow, since it's Freezer Friday, I'm going to be doing my Freezer Friday later in the day um, because of some conflicts. But I will not be doing a crock pot, I mean, a Crocktober live because I'll be doing my Freezer Friday live. But you will still get a Crocktober recipe in your email, and it's a good one. So you don't want to miss out on it. You want to make sure you're getting our emails and don't just depend on the live videos. The emails are where you're getting all the free recipes. So if you're not doing that, you're missing out. So when you say the word recipes, we will send it to you and it'll say Croctober recipes. If you click on that, then you can get these completely for free in your emails. Oh, look at all the cranky faces. So nice. I love it when people come on here and spam me. Enter. Sarcasm. So if you use the minute rice, did you say go ahead and put the chicken broth in when you start the dish? Yes, I would to get all the flavors to combine. I would go ahead and do all the chicken broth in there, and let it be cooking all day and then throw that in towards the end. Okay. Thank you for my, making life a little easier. Lynn, you are welcome. Okay. Okay. Beautiful people. Thanks so much for hopping on here today. I hope you enjoyed my easy, cheesy chicken and rice recipe. Remember you can get the full link in the description below, um, where we will send you the full recipe, um, including nutritional information. You guys have a great day and I'll see you next time in my kitchen. Bye friends. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Thanks so much for joining me today. And remember to like and subscribe this video so you do not miss out on any of our other family friendly recipes. Don't forget, you can get the full link in the description or you can just go to eatingonadime.com for more delicious and easy family friendly recipes. I'll see you next time. Bye, friends.